After nearly seven years, a family is finally getting closure after the body of a missing Catoosa County man was identified. Newsville's Becca Birdsall had an exclusive interview with the victim's brother on the long journey it's been. I miss my own brother, but now I don't have anything I can do about it anymore. A missing person cold case has been solved following the identification of human remains by Catoosa County Sheriff's Office. The body of Noah Brandon Davis was found in a remote area close to Battlefield Parkway on October 18, 2019. Due to COVID-19, there were delays in the investigation. After a DNA match, the Sheriff's Office were able to identify Davis a few days ago. You almost get used to... Uh to dealing with something for, you know, over periods and periods of, like as long as it's been, it's been so hard, you almost go on autopilot to deal with it. And, uh, it just, I felt a huge weight come off my shoulders, but it did break me. Davis was originally reported missing August 15th back in 2014. Catoosa County Sheriff Gary Sisk said in a press release, I thank our investigators and dozens of law enforcement officers with partnering agencies for their tireless efforts to bring some closure to this challenging case. Together, we have pursued countless leads, conducted interviews with 41 people, searched thousands of acres in northwest Georgia and southeast Tennessee, and spent more than 100,000 hours working this investigation day and night. The sheriff's office says due to the lack of evidence on the body and at the scene, the cause of death is still undetermined. Noah's brother Joshua says he is not only heartbroken for himself, but his daughter who remembers her uncle and his mother who never stopped looking for Noah before she passed. He loved being an uncle too. So me and uh, we used to always go swimming a lot. And that day is what we did. Me, him, and my daughter, Kaylee, we went swimming. And, uh, there's a little video clip, one or two of them. He would, he would repeatedly hurt himself off the diving board just to make her laugh. Reporting in Catoosa County, Becca Birdsall, News 12 Now.